Okay, so if you have a basic understanding of algebra, then this should be a very easy question. So the problem is the following. Is the point 35 on the line y equals 4x plus 1? Now, if you're looking at this and you're like, I have no idea what's going on, no worries. I'll explain exactly how to answer this question again. Uh, this is extremely important for those of you uh, that want to understand algebra and not difficult. Okay, so if you're looking at, uh, you know, this notation and this equation, you're like, this seems complex. It's actually quite easy. But if you know how to answer this question, go ahead and put your answer into the comments section and uh, kind of do an additional thing as well. So the question here is this point on this line, we're talking about a yes, no uh, uh, answer, right? So either it is or is not, but kind of justify, you know, your uh, conclusions. Okay, so that would be kind of nice to see. But uh, anyways, we're going to get to all of this. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then we'll walk through uh, these concepts. So if you don't know what's going on, you'll walk away from this an expert. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, this is pretty much uh, you know a yes-no type situation. So is this point on this line? Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The answer is no. All right, now, if you guessed, you know what? I still have to congratulate you because that was smart. You know, you had a 50-50 chance. You're like, I'm going to just put in something. And, um, you know, for those of you that you know, take or have to take any kind of exam and there's a multiple choice test, unless you're going to get penalized for a multiple choice exam, you should always guess, all right? I'll be the first one to tell you as a math teacher, uh, there are certain exams, things like the SAT or ACT, that will deduct points uh, if you get a wrong answer. But hey, listen, if you have a 50-50 chance, go ahead and at least put something down. But if you put no and you don't even know why, no big deal, I'll explain. But if you knew exactly that this point was, wasn't on this line, well, we must celebrate your knowledge of algebra with a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of linear equations. And this is a massive topic in algebra, okay, in basic algebra. So this thing right here is called a linear equation. Now, let me go ahead and just write this word out here because I'm saying it. Uh, linear, all right, this is the word I'm saying. And what is the root word of this right here, a linear? Okay, hopefully you can see it is line. Okay, so a linear equation is a line equation. Okay, so this right here is an equation where we can kind of um, have a graphical representation of it, which of course is a line. Okay, and of course this is a point. And the question is, hey, is this point on this line? And obviously the answer is no. But why is it uh, not on this line? Well, we're going to get into that right now. Okay, so the first thing is that we need to have a basic understanding of lines and points in algebra. Okay, and hopefully you are familiar with the x, uh, y coordinate plane. All right, so this is basically what we use in mathematics and algebra to graph lines. Okay, so a line like so would be like a linear equation, and it has uh, some sort of equation that goes along with it. It could be something like y equals 3x plus 2. Uh, now, this is a huge topic in algebra. I'm not going to get into it because it's not necessary uh, to get into how to graph a linear equation, but this is an absolutely critical skill. Okay, not difficult. And if you're like, yes, yes, I'm, uh, I want to learn how to do this, well, a couple quick suggestions here. Um, I have a ton of additional videos about linear equations, how to gra um, graphing linear equations, how to find the line of linear equations on my YouTube channel. But this would be kind of formally taught in like my Algebra 1 or Pre-Algebra course. You'll find links to those in the description below. Okay, but so again, when we have a line on this XY 
uh, coordinate uh, system here. Uh, any line can be represented by an equation, i.e. a linear equation, right? Now, how does uh, our points system work? Okay, so let's take this point here, 3, 5. That's the point in question, uh, right? So how can we know, you know where this point is on the x, y axis? Well, I'm going to answer this right now. So 3, 5 is located, it's what we call, um, well, I'll show you where it's located in a, sec in a second. But this is effectively like the address system on the x, y coordinate plane, right? So it's like if you call up your friend and say, hey, where do you live? I'm going to, uh, you know, drop by, say hello. Well, I live on this, you know, street, and here is my address on that street, okay? So that is a, uh, a location system, right? It's a way we kind of give an address. Well, how we give an address uh, on the x, y coordinate plane, we use something called an ordered pair, an x, y ordered pair, okay? So it says effectively an address system, and this is the way it works. Let me go ahead and write this right here, three, five. So you can notice here, the x is first, the y is second. In other words, uh, this is what we call a coordinate, but an ordered pair, okay? It's a pair of numbers, and there is a specific order, okay? All right, so how does this work? Well, along the x-axis, we're going to go out three, okay? So along the x-axis, we're going to go out three. So we're just going to count. So here, this is one, two, three, four, five on the x-axis. Now, this is zero. This would be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, okay? So along the x-axis, we're going to go out three. So this would be, let me use a different color here, one, two, three. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Now, to get to our actual point, we have to go five on the y-axis. So on the y-axis, it is this way. One, two, three, four, five, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, you get the idea. So we have to go up five on the y-axis. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna go from this point here, when x is three, one, two, three, and then we'll go up five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the location of our point right there. Okay, that's the location of our ordered pair, three, five. Okay, so hopefully you understand that. Okay, and for those of you who are like, yes, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, don't bore me with this. I know this, I'm an expert. Well, that's fantastic, but some of you uh, may have needed a quick review. All right, so this is how the XY coordinate system works. Again, how you graph a line that's kind of a separate discussion, but at least conceptually you kind of know what's going on here, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at our question. So the question again, is this point three five on this line? Y equals four X plus one. Well, uh, the line Y equals four X plus one, this linear equation, uh, this is a pretty accurate representation of it. Okay, so I went ahead and just graphed the line. Now how you do this, again, is a separate discussion. It's not that difficult, okay? But we don't need to know how to graph this line in order to answer this question, right? But I do want to kind of you know, show you this line right here. And now we might say, all right, well, let me go ahead and plot 3, 5, the point in question, and let's see if it lands on this line. So you might go, all right, 1, 2, 3. Of course, I'm not using graph paper here, so it's not going to be perfectly, you know, um, you know, accurate, but you know, we might get a good idea. So that's one, two, three, and then let's see, I'll go up five, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't appear that, uh, you know, this point is on the line. Now, of course we know it's not because I already told you the answer, but this is, you know, right here, unless we have graph paper, okay, we're not really uh, able to kind of determine this kind of visually, all right? But at least you'll have a sense of how, you know, what the question is asking. Is this point on this line? Okay, well, it is not, but why is it? Well, that is going to be what we're going to get into now. And I'm going to show you algebraically how easy it is to answer this question. But before we do that, I would like uh, to ask you to hit that subscribe button. That is such an easy thing to do. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that notification bell. This really helps my channel. Okay, but effectively, my channel is like a gigantic classroom, right? I'm trying to connect with people who are interested in mathematics and, uh, you know, even more so 
those people out there that are struggling, having a tough time looking for help in math. So by you subscribing, it does help my classroom uh, grow. So thank you so much. Uh, matter of fact, uh, this is the way I look right now. And let's go ahead and get back to the problem. All right, so again, here is the question, right? So is 3-5 on this line? And now we have a pretty good understanding that 3-5 is an ordered pair. It's a coordinate. It's a point that we can plot on the xy um, coordinate plane. But this 3 is the x, right? And this 5 is the y, right? So in other words, when it comes to uh, uh, the ordered pair here, 3-5, we need to associate 3 with the x-axis and uh, five with the y-axis. So what we can do, all right, is and this is not difficult, is simply plug in uh, three, okay, for x, and for y, we're gonna plug in uh, five, okay? And then we're gonna see if this equation balances. If, in other words, if the left-hand uh, side of the equation equals the right-hand side, in other words, if this is a true statement, then in fact, this point is on the line. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about. So, um, so again, here is our uh, point, 3, 5. It's an x, y order pair. So for x, we're going to plug in 3 because that's the x coordinate. For y right here, we're going to plug in 5. And when we do that, we're going to end up with this. Okay. So instead of y, we're going to have 5 is equal to 4 times x. But in this case, x is 3 plus 1. Now, if this point was on this line, uh, the left-hand side would equal the right-hand side. So when we do the math here, 5 is equal to 4 plus 3. That's 12 plus 1. That's 13. Is this a true statement? No. This is a false statement. So because it's false, because it's not true, that indicates that this point is not on this line. Okay, not on this line. So 3, 5 is not on y equals 4x plus 1. Okay, so there is a ton of additional things you need to know about linear equations. Uh, this is a massive topic in algebra, okay? Uh, you got to know how to graph linear equations. You got to know how to find the equations of them. But I think uh, a, a little example problem like this hopefully, you know, gives you a sense that, it, you know, although there's a lot to learn, it's not difficult. There's just a lot of little skills that you kind of have to learn and keep, you know, kind of put them together. That's why you never want to try to learn math, especially algebra, you know, by just rote memorization, R-O-T-E. And rote memorization is basically flashcard memorization, right? Like how we learn our ABCs or how to count. That's just kind of pure, you know, uh, memory willpower, if you will. In mathematics, the best way to learn is to really grasp and understand, comprehend the concepts, all right? That's truly you know, learning, and that way you won't have to just try to memorize everything because it, it doesn't really work to learn math, especially algebra, by just memory alone. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.